everyone, I'm Aurora Sharon and welcome back to my channel. Today I really had the urge to speak to you about something that I felt um, I'm going through, my inner circle is going through, and it's just something that came up throughout this week um, while me and my girlfriends and my sister were talking and I really felt like it just needs to be said. It needs to be sent out, um, especially this time, starting a new year. Um, also, still having COVID with us. Um, so I just thought I would sit down and talk to you guys and also do my makeup, kind of like an everyday makeup look that I sometimes like to do. So I'm gonna share that with you as well. Um, yeah, and I also did my nails yesterday and just finished my workout recently and, you know, washed my hair. Everything's good. My brushes have been clean, cleaned this weekend, um, finally washed properly. And yeah, so we are good to go. So I'm not really going to discuss about what I'm doing um, makeup wise. You'll just get to see it's extremely, extremely simple. All the products that I'm going to use are going to be um, down below. And yeah, let's let's get going. Let's do this. So last week I spoke to my sister, my older sister, and she didn't feel so well and um, she recently moved to a new apartment, so, you know, her house is kind of like on wheels, as you can say, with a lot of boxes and things that are still haven't found their place yet. And, you know, it's kind of those things that really sit on you because, you know, living in boxes and um, not knowing where everything is, is just really like... Kind of sits on your heart and makes you feel like you can't really be rested a hundred percent because of those things so we were talking throughout the week and i was asking her how she feels and she had a cold um, she was really tired and was kind of really fighting her body um and her mind because her body wants to rest but her mind wants to do so many things which i completely completely understand that she kept on telling me that she you know feels so guilty and and not calm because even if she does rest she keeps looking at everything around her and she can't 100% rest because it's on her mind all the time. And she just starts to beat herself up in her mind of like, why don't you get up? Why aren't you doing this? Um, and really guilting herself up. Now, I completely understand that personally because I used to do that all the time. I'm saying used to because now I'm really trying to fight those thoughts um, when they come up for me. I just really um, now more in control of saying, you know what, you're good and kind of giving me, giving myself that assurement that it's okay and I'm allowed to rest and do whatever I need to do later, even if it means tomorrow, God forbid. Um, and I'm kind, of, I'm kind of laughing about it saying God, for, God forbid, but it's really not a joke. It's those feelings of having something on your chest and feeling really stressed about it, and then you can definitely not um, enjoy 100% of resting properly, you know? So I remember talking to her on the phone because she lives in a different city than me and she told me that she really feels like she needs to have another rest day um, just to, you know, 
recuperate from her cold, which honestly completely makes sense, right? I mean, that's what we should do when we're not feeling well. But then she started feeling guilty about it and really, really just got into her own head and she couldn't enjoy um, her break that she took, basically. So that was on Friday and on Saturday she said she wants another day. Um, we talked on Saturday and all, all of Friday she did rest, but she really gave herself um, a bad time about it, about her resting. So I told her, listen, like it's a process. You really need to learn to give yourself that time and to forgive yourself, forgive, right? But it is kind of like forgiving um, by telling yourself, listen, this is more important once I get my um, energy back, my strength back, then I will be able to get the job done even faster than doing it when you're not feeling well and when you don't have so many energy to do it. And it's really all about giving yourself permission to rest, to recuperate, to say, you know what? I come first. Um, everything else can wait. It will get done, you know, because these things always get done eventually. Some people can do it in a week. Some people take more time and that is fine. We are all different. But the point is of forgiving yourself, letting yourself have that time that you need. doesn't matter if it's because you're feeling um, ill or sick or even if because you know what, I'm just not up to it today and tomorrow I'll be better and I'll feel better and um, I'll be able to do it. So it all comes down to really just letting go, forgiving ourselves and saying, I deserve this, I need my rest um, and I'll get back to everything I need to do once that rest is done. And I really felt my sister, you know, I felt her struggle. I have found so many times that throughout my eight years of having chronic illnesses, um, I've had many moments of lying in bed because I was really not feeling well um, and just speaking to myself very negatively and saying like, look at you, you don't do anything, um, you're so lazy, and that's all like inner talk, right? And your worth is not that great, um, you're not providing for your house financially, and just really getting into my head and really saying horrible things, honestly, like things that I, I personally would never tell anyone else especially someone who is dealing with chronic illnesses, but to myself, somehow, some very weird way, I'm allowing myself to speak to myself like that. And I used to do it all the time. So when my sister talked to me, I was like, I completely, completely understand where you're coming from. And it takes time and it takes... Um, training your mind to stop old habits of speaking negatively to yourself, of um, putting yourself down and just really um, doing the opposite, which is saying loving, caring things to yourself of you got this, it's going to be okay, you will get up back on your feet once you're able to do that and eventually everything will be okay everything will get done and that's something that really took me a long time to learn that at the end of the day things find their place and things get done um, 
kind of like organically, you know, like all the stress of before of really feeling like this has to get done now and then starting to speak to ourselves negatively and stuff like that. So I told her what I used to tell myself, which is just be patient with yourself, love yourself, speak to yourself kindly, take the rest you need and tomorrow or the day after, whenever you're feeling like you're up to it, you'll get it done because you want to get it done. It's something that you need to get done and it will get done. And she was like, yeah, you know what? You're completely right. And that is really true. And yeah, that's kind of where we left it off, you know, like she was, okay, I'm going to give myself time and I'm going to rest. And the moment she really kind of let that guilt go, she was able to get a rest. And then when she felt a little bit better, that day, by the way, after we talked, she got up after she had rested enough for her, of course. She got up and she cleared all the boxes that were left in her apartment. So shifting that state of mind to, I'm allowed to rest. I'm allowed to care for myself um, mentally and physically and first and foremost love myself like my body like my mind deserves that frees something in us and I mean you could see that the minute she let it go that guilt and that shame and that um, those words that she kept on telling herself those negative words once she worked on it she was able to get rest enough to then get up and clear all the boxes at her house that same day so these things are so little but so powerful and strong so it definitely starts with how you speak to yourself how you approach yourself that's where it begins to me in my opinion so I was very happy about that and like you know that she felt better and she got the things that she wanted to get done around the house I mean obviously she still has a lot of um, decluttering to do maybe or putting things in place but just having that notion and seeing that all the boxes are gone that completely changes a lot of things you know in your mind so that was really great that she did that and then on Saturday, I spoke to my friend and I saw that she was kind of like in a mood, you know, like nothing big or nothing crazy, but like I saw that she wasn't really herself. And we started talking, you know, just about life and stuff like that. And then she told me, listen, like, I can't look at myself anymore. I have gained weight. Um, and I eat really crappy foods. And I just don't love myself right now. And you could see. from the way she spoke, how disappointed she is from herself. Um, and because she had a baby and really was able to get the weight off from the pregnancy very, very quickly. But you know, we have times in our lives that we are more stressed and we have certain issues coming and without getting into too many details about my friend's life because it is her life and it's not my place to talk about it um she's going through a lot you know just having a home a husband kids work full-time job 
um, without adding COVID, um, all the stress from that and other um, family issues that she's going through, sometimes we need that letting go, that just saying, you know what, forget about everything, everything goes out the window. Right now I have this and this and this to take care and to care about and push all my energy towards and I don't have room for other things to come into that place. And she was just kept on saying like, I ate so badly this week and I ordered out um, takeaways and stuff and ate really unhealthy things and I'm so bummed about it and just really got into her own head and she started talking about um, her weight, like the number on the scale and she started talking about um, what size of clothing she wears now as opposed to when she was um, skinnier because she's still like to me she looks amazing but you know you can't disagree with someone about how he feels about himself you know that's his so even though to me she looks amazing for her she doesn't because she knows she could look a different way but when I talked to her I was like okay well first of all you know that it can be done you know that you lost the weight before you know that you can achieve it because you already did it um, and I really feel that when you come from a place of forgiveness to yourself which I know for some of you me saying forgiveness would be like excuse me like what am I supposed to forgive about like I just gained weight but when certain people really take it to heart and really start feeling guilty and mad about themselves and disappointed about themselves and it's kind of like a train that doesn't stop because you start beating yourself again like um, you suck and all of that it's really hard to get out of that place out of that mental space of just loving yourself and saying you know what that's okay I did this and this now let's change it let's improve it to what I want it to be you know when you think in the way of kind supportive positive words to yourself as opposed to the negative it makes such a difference and it also gives you motivation um, and energy to change that situation that you're in so then I told her okay well you want to lose the weight that's fine like that's you but do it smart start working out eat well and that's what she wanted to do but I saw that she was very like confused and kind of overwhelmed and again when you have that very negative energy it's really hard to push yourself to do it so i just honestly told her shared with her you know the things that i do um what kind of workouts i do what kind of foods i eat um and just gave her that information and immediately you could see her state of mind changing and I re just remember telling her to be kind to herself to not be as harsh as she is and I saw that she was listening but she was not yet at the place of really taking it in and I get it like it's a lot and I also studied NLP for seven months which for me really changed the way I talk to myself obviously it changed the way I talk to others and engage with them but first it was all about how I'm talking to myself and now uh, how I act to the things that I do and just you know 
again with the positive words and the uplifting words as opposed to the negative which I don't know why but somehow like I don't know if it's with men too I'm sure it is I don't think it's just a woman thing but from what I know from women we do that a lot like shame ourselves and beat ourselves up um, mentally of course and making ourselves feel like we did something wrong and you know stuff like that so I saw that what I was telling her was being heard but yeah I did feel that she needed to you know work on it a little bit more but she was open to receiving what I had to tell her and so that's an amazing step as it is and you know now I really try to stay in contact and let her know that I'm there and that she got this and she is working out every day now and you know just really getting the job done, but getting the job done in a way that it's not like negative. Like, okay, so I put on weight and now I have to work out and I have to eat healthy. No, you want to do it for, <clears throat> you want to do it for, from a place of, I want my life to be like that. Like I want my, life to be eating healthy to working out because I want to be healthy because it's good for my mind because it's good for so many other things and not just you know all about losing the weight and again having that guilt and beating yourself up for that um, I can give you an example of kind of like the new me I call it the example that I want to give you is that um, for us COVID started um, like the mandatory quarantine and all of that started kind of at the end of March um, last year and it was right about the time where most of our holidays happened um, you know we have um, so right when COVID started here, we had Purim, which is like Halloween. And the boys just got to um, wear their costumes to school and that's it. Like all the festivals and all the activities that were planned around our city and country um, were canceled because of COVID. So that was like the beginning and then on Passover we were already on mandatory quarantine and it was like the first time that you know we didn't have um, Passover with family like either my side or my husband's side or anyone like just doing it the four of us me my husband and my two boys and it was extremely hard and extremely stressful um, stressful in the way of me needing to make, you know, certain foods that are tradition that I honestly never made in my life before. Um, mentally difficult because my family is away from me and I can't be with them uh, on a holiday and that really sucks. And, <clears throat> and yeah, there was so many emotions there. And then after Passover, we had um another holiday and an independence day and another one like we had i don't know maybe like four holidays in the time of two months from march to june that we did alone like completely alone just the four of us and now i can say that it was fun as well because you know we got to do things just the four of us and I got to cook things that I never cooked before and feel really great about achieving it um, but yeah like at the time 
it really sucks. So, by the way, I'm still using like the palette um, for my eyes as well. That's why it's a very, very easy, achievable makeup look. Um, so I guess during those two months um, of April and May, being in quarantine and also having the holidays, I was a lot in the kitchen. And I've been paleo for about five years now. And let me tell you, those two months, everything went out the door. Working out, eating healthy, like my paleo um, meal plans that I have, everything went out the door. And I just let myself kind of loose, I guess. And I gained weight very quickly, like in two months. I got to a point where in, I think it was the end of April, that I tried to, you know, kind of dress up, get out of my um, comfortable house clothes, which entail leggings and very stretchy things. Um, when I came to the point of trying one of my denims on or you know any pants I couldn't they literally would not even go past my thighs not even like you know it's not even at the point of pulling them up and just like button doesn't close and I was shocked honestly because I wasn't aware I didn't try my denim before and suddenly only two months after something I try to put something on and it's like mm, yeah no it's not coming and the old me would have a panic attack <laughs> not a panic attack but you know again get into my head saying look what you did how could you let that happen you were in such a good place look at how you look now yada 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 you know all those beautiful words we can say to ourselves and instead of that, I was like, okay, you know what? This is a given, right? Like, I can't change it. This is the way I look now. But I can change how I'm going to look in a couple of months. So it was, I was just like, okay, well, this is a situation. Yeah, it's it bugs me, definitely. Um so i gave myself a three month comeback you know and it wasn't about giving myself like a very um unapproachable timeline like okay i'm giving myself one week or a month to get back to where i was no it was all about creating myself my routine again my working out my eating healthy and to me giving myself three months to see a change i wasn't like first of all i don't have a scale at my house don't love it don't want it thank you very much bye um and it wasn't about like weighing a certain way looking a certain way it wasn't about that it was about starting a change and regrouping in three months and seeing where I stand and what I okay with and also give myself praises because that's really important too. Lifting yourself up and saying, well, look, this, this, and this. I took pictures of myself, um, which yes, I'm not comfortable doing, um, even if they're only for me. It was still difficult for me a little bit, but I still did that. And just started my journey, you know, and it was, 
I didn't feel pressure. I didn't feel like I have this crazy goal that I need to achieve. It's just all about, you know, taking control, starting a journey, not giving myself a hard time, and just getting the work done. And that's what I did. And let me tell you, on June, no, August, sorry. I started it on June. On August, I was like, okay, well, I got my three month mark. Let's kind of do a photo again. Let's regroup. Let's see what's going on. And I felt amazing. Um, I felt that my body was changing. I had more energy. Um, worked out, of course. And yeah, and then I was like looking in the mirror and I was like, yes, you know, for me, it took three months, about three months to get back to where I was before of two months of just not caring <laughs> and eating whatever I want and not working out. Um, but for each and every one of us, it's different, you know, and it's not about like that certain time frame. It's about how you talk to yourself. And when I talk to myself positive in a positive way and, and you know, just said, okay, well, you know, you had your fun, you had your two months of just, celebrating doing whatever you want now it's time to get back to your health because that's important as well and that also affects your mental health and you know it's a cycle so that's just what i did and when you come from a place of love and of compassion to yourself Forget others now, okay? I always have seen that at the end of my two videos that were uploaded, I kept on saying, love yourself, take care of yourself, be kind to yourself, because that is what is important, okay? If you are loving to yourself, if you care for yourself, you will be able to do it for other people. Um, if you don't do that for yourself, it will show other people as well and you won't be a hundred percent who you can be and living your potential so that's why it was so so important for me to talk to you guys about this today because i definitely know a hundred percent that there are more people like us, like me and my sister and my friends out there who think that way, um, talk to our way, talk to ourselves negatively and put ourselves down when in fact all we need to do is just be kind and loving to ourselves. And yeah. That makes such a, a huge difference. And honestly, for me, what taught me to do it again was learning um, NLP. So I also now know that a big reason of me, um, kind of like what I told you that I would kind of like poofed, <laughs> it wasn't a lot about you know, that gaining those um kilos i just felt my body was very 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 like puffed up and i didn't get it i mean i know that obviously i did gain weight but i also felt very very bloated bloated is the word i keep saying poofed um Now I know that it's probably because of my endometriosis, which at the time I didn't even know I have. I literally found out about my endometriosis in August of 2020. 
So um, I always thought that I have it, but I didn't really go and check it until recently. Um, obviously, I'm going to talk more in depth about that, um, about endometriosis and like my whole process. I'm going to speak on um, a different video, but a lot of what endometriosis does is it makes your belly kind of bloat in a very, very huge way. Like, um, you could look sometimes even like seven months pregnant and my belly was huge and I really didn't understand what was going on because yeah, I ate things that I didn't eat um, prior to those two months, but not in the way that my body would look like that. So I do know, first of all, yes, I did gain weight. Like we cannot um, not talk about that. I did. I don't know how much. I literally felt it on my clothes. Like I told you, I don't have a scale. Um, but there were things that were looking really weird to me. And now I can say, okay, well, it was the endometriosis, you know? Um, so you also need to be aware of that. Uh, maybe there's some health issues that you're not aware of, but that's like a different video. I fully, truly feel that by being gentle and kind to myself, I was really able to dedicate myself to those um, three months and get myself in a place where I just felt like I made a change. I honestly didn't care um, how much I weigh. Um, I care. I cared that I did something, that I pulled myself, that I came back to eating healthy, to working out, um, you know, kind of seeing like the bigger picture. I really didn't care about how much I weigh now and how much I weighed before because I don't even know. Um, and it wasn't about that. It was just kind of bringing myself to my um, comfortable place, my healthy place, and doing that. That's why it was very, very important for me to talk to you guys today and first of all, share my story with you, my personal story. Um, my inner circle story and just let you know that a you're not alone if you're feeling these feelings you're not and that you can change it you can change anything you want you just if you allow yourself to be loving and compassionate to yourself you will see how things kind of change and develop and go the way you really wanted it to go when you talk nice to yourself kind of like my message to you guys um even for me now uh, i still have those times where i'm like getting to my head but now i definitely am a lot better with stopping and saying okay you know that's okay we had this happen we had that happen um like now i i have more control on it and that's what i want you guys to pay attention for to really have control on the way you speak to yourself to be forgiving to be kind to be a home for yourself you know and just be compassionate i truly believe that we are ever changing and ever growing that our time on this earth is a time of continued growth and there's always something to change and better and yeah that's just one I wanted to share with you guys, especially towards this new year that you're having. Obviously, our new year starts at September in Rosh Hashanah. But um, for 2021, 
for all of us. I just really wish that we could be kinder to ourselves. If we're kinder to ourselves, we'll be kinder to other people around us. Um, let's leave the negativity out the window, just throw it away and start working on treating yourself better and forgiving yourself when you need to rest, when you need quiet time, when you need to get away um, and not having those guilts, you know, um, those mom guilts for me sometimes when I was a month in bed at the beginning and not being able to be with my kids, to hug them, to play with them, those kind of things, um, doing things around the house, whether it's dishes, laundry, all of that. Um, there are always going to be things that need to be done and we really need to know to take that time out for ourselves and take care of ourselves. So I wish you all a great day and a great week and a great 2021. It is all up to you, how you receive it, how you take it. Yes, we are not in our regular life right now. Again, like I said, we are currently in mandatory quarantine and it seems like it's only going to get a lot tighter um, before we will open up again in my country. So I'm just making the best of it, working out, eating healthy, doing things that I love, sitting here talking to you guys. Um, by the way, yeah, this is the look for today. Um, as you can see, extremely, extremely simple. I was just talking to you, so it took longer but it's very quick and easy look to do again all the products will be in the description box below um and i thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye guys